Welcome to a video that every YouTuber makes that just brags about how rich they are and how many friends they have. Hi, my little Santa fuckers. Wait, hold on. Wait, no. I'm... Oh my god, that came out wrong. I'm never... You'll never hear me say that again because... Hello, my little fuckers. This video is an original and it's something every YouTuber does on Christmas. Oh, hold on. It's getting fucking thirsty in here, I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna edit that out. But every time these videos come around, I love watching them. I don't know about you, it always makes me intrigued to see what my favorite YouTubers are getting because it's like, I wanna know the life they're living and compare it to the life I'm living and just, I wanna be that. And this year, I think I'm getting there because by the title of this video, I have 90% Lush stuff, which is basically my bank account. So we'll get that out of the way right now because I know that's what you came for. I have, hold on, wait, wait, I gotta gather all the items. Um, I have a lot of stuff, so we're just, we're gonna get into it. Now mind you, this video is not to brag about the amount of presents I buy and how many friends I have. I don't know why people twist videos like that, because I enjoy watching these videos, so I thought you guys would. Also mind you, I spend like this much amount on all my friends, which is a lot in most of my bank accounts, so like, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Like, I got that money back in different ways, 90% Lush stuff. Now, the reason why I love Lush so much, and my friends probably know this, <coughs> cause he's gay. <coughs> I'm kind of obsessed with skincare products and like, cleaning things, like soap and bath bombs and just stuff that's like, taking care of yourself, personal care items. And I know a lot of people have a stigma against Lush because it's like overhyped and it's too expensive. But in my opinion, the amount of effort they put into their their like products makes it seem like the stuff we normally buy at the drugstore is underpriced. Like if you think about it, everything is handmade. The majority of them are organic. They personalize these items. This one was made by Sash. He's already made like three of my items. So Sash, thank you for making a lot of my favorite products. It's all cruelty free, majority is vegan. If you look at their sites, they're always fighting for like, this is just turning to a lust video, oh my god. No, they're always, they always fight for good causes like trying to end poverty, lots of their things like charity publish and goes towards charities to help better environments and communities. So I like what they stand for. Also, I just want to give kudos to them. All of these are made from recycled plastic and the lush bags you get and the things you put with bath bombs in made from 100% recycled paper. They have fabrics. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna get one. They have fabrics made from recycled water bottles. Can you explain how that works? The thing is, it's not even like plastic, it's actual fabric, and it amazes me so much, and I appreciate it beyond, like, anything. I'm in a relationship with Lush, that's, that's basically it. This is how the cool people do it, right? Am I cool now? I'll just keep this on. Choke me, choke me. But yeah, that's my little speech about Lush, so before anyone judges me for loving it so much, so fucking back off. Let me just say this. I'm gonna say I love this product probably 10 times in this video because I do love all these products. My friends know me so easily. It's, it's predictable. The biggest jar, I think this is around like $50 almost, and it looks like this, and this basically just smells like a lime martini with salt around the edge of it. Not that I know that. Um, I actually got two samples of these when I bought some other stuff you'll see later in the video And I didn't even have to ask for them. They were so nice and I tried both of them and guess what my skin Cleared my body clean my eyes a little hurt because it has alcohol in it So don't get in your eyes by the way don't don't do it, but I love this so much I asked someone else to get a bigger size jar for me and <laughs> the person did and guess what this will probably last me like a fucking year, so I think that's worth it. Another face scrub thing that I got, what's this called? A face and body cleanser. It's angels on bare skin. This basically smells like lavender, but someone told me it smells like weed, which it doesn't. Not that I know. But I use this every day and this one every other day because the amount of salt in this literally like scrapes my skin off, which I like. Maybe not every day, every other day, that's fine. It literally just scrubs off the face you had in the morning and then gives you a new one. So like, 
you have infinite faces, which is just every person in high school. They all have infinite faces. All right, this next one isn't new to me. I bought this twice already in my life, my lush life. This is called Refresher. It's a shower jelly. If you don't know what a shower jelly is, hey. Oh my god, we're not we're not gonna get anywhere with this. It's a jelly and very soapy and lemony. This just smells like lemons. You're gonna smell like lemons, that's all I can say. Kinda smells like lemon cough drops, but in the good way. Alright, these next two products, I just wanna take a minute to appreciate Lush for making the most beautiful, amazing scent in the whole world of Lush. Rose Jam shower gel and rose argan body conditioner and this is the best scent in the whole world and they get it so right they say it's rose vanilla and it is rose vanilla it's not even that rosy it just smells oh. it makes me want to be buried in this and the color is so beautiful too it's like a dark burgundy which you all know i love burgundy for some reason right now the body conditioner smells exactly the same this scent is, has always been the same. I have a one liter bottle of this thing that I've had for two years and still have not used up. It's expired, but I don't care. It's about this big, and I don't plan on finishing that because that is my baby. I'm in a relationship with this scent. I'm in a relationship with Rose Jam, yep. Yep. And my friend bought the Rose gift set, which also came with this. And I love you so much for that. All right, so that's all the pots from Lush. Now let's get to the bath bombs. We're not even done with Lush. You see my life? All right, I don't have much bath bomb stuff because I'm not really a fan of them, mainly because my bank account is dying because bath bombs are like one use only or two use if you cut it open. Bubble bars are just two or three uses only. And I don't even take baths because I hate my bathtub. But when I move out of this apartment, my mom and dad have the master bedroom and the bathroom in it has a bubble jet bathtub. You know, you know, I'm not, I'm never gonna leave that place, you know. This is, oh, uh, let's see. I think it's called Very Berry Christmas. And the reason why I bought it was because, one, it was blue. Two, it was glittery, so like, don't. And when I smelled it when I got home, it smelled really nice. It's like blueberries and mint. That's all I can explain. It's actually not soap. It's a solid shower gel, and Lush is known for making things like not in containers. They have like solid lotion, solid body conditioners, solid shampoo bars, solid hair conditioners. They have a lot of stuff. I really applaud them for that because I think more companies need to get on the trend of not using so much plastic. All right, this next one, I can't really smell, so I gotta take it out. No, no powder. No, please don't do this. Oh. So this is the Think Pink bath bomb. Um, I know it's kind of whited out right now because of my light. A powder everywhere. Powder everywhere. Please stop. But oh, it's just, it's a lot of pink. You're gonna smell of pink. That's that's it. This one. Oh. <laughs> No, it's not a bad scent. It's just really strong. I can't take it out because I broke it, um, but I'll put a picture right here. Here. It's the Man in the Moon Bubble Bar. And on the website, it says it's very citrusy and has lime oil in it, but to me, it smells exactly like trolley sour gummy worms. Trust me. Go to a Lush store, smell this. It smells exactly like it. Lush, you can tone that scent down a little bit. It's just... My room smells like it now because of you. Alright, and I'm not gonna take this one out because... Powder. I'll give you a picture right here. It's the yellow submarine bath bomb. And you know what it smells of? Pink. If you don't know what pink smells like, just smell Snow Fairy. It just, it's sweet. It's a lot of sweets. Okay. That's all the Lush stuff. Now let's get to regular stuff. I know in my last video I said Fitch Spirits need to leave, but... I hate myself too. It's so cute. Guess, yep, pink. So, <laughs> don't. All right, the next thing I got is this freaking ginormous jar of candy canes. Cause at my lunch table, we had secret Santas and my secret Santa said, all right, who likes candy canes? And I was the only one who raised my hand, which shocked me. Like, how can you not like candy canes? It's Christmas. So I just got a really big jar of candy canes and they taste really good, but I am not getting through that because stomach. This next thing I bought for myself, I saw it at Target. It's a, oh I should turn my brightness down, shouldn't I? Let's focus. This is what the beauty gurus do. This is a cactus pop socket because I love, I love cacti. Wait, you can't really see it. I gotta put it up front. Be gone, foul demon that is the wood that lies upon my bed. Is that considered Shakespeare? I don't know. I love cacti. I don't know why. I just kind of have an obsession over it. And it's pink, so... 
You can see the trend is happening. I hate me too. Alright, three more items, and these are all clothing things. But all of these my sisters got for me. I found this. I don't really wear many button-ups, so this is my second one. The first one is the flannel thing that Farmer Frank always takes for me, so like... Fucking back off, Frank. But it's burgundy. And these next two things, my sister found for me. And I was so happy because I saw these on the American Eagle. Yes, they're from American Eagle, okay? We all know I get American Eagle. We... This isn't new. But I saw these on the online store and they were sold out and I was just so sad. But she found them in store! This is a burgundy cardigan. And I don't know why I wanted to get into cardigans. I'm pretty sure it's because of both Clay from 13 Reasons Why and Archie from the fucking show that's called Revido that I absolutely hate and we will never name again because fuck that show. But like both of them wore cardigans and I was like, that's cute. I want to wear one. So I have one now. And this last thing, very weird, I know, but I love it. It's just, it's just a really big sweater jacket. I'm pretty sure that's what they call it. And let me just say, that cardigan and this came with pockets. And let me tell you something about pockets. I want everything I wear to have pockets. I hate it. There's a bug. I hate it when I'm just walking through the hallways at my school and I don't have anything to put my hands in besides my jeans. But tell me I'm not the only one, but I get self-conscious of what I do with my hands while I'm walking. So I tend to put them in pockets so I don't have to worry. Kudos to you, American Eagle. Sponsor me, please. Please make me a model, please. I, I, I love American Eagle. Also Lush. And, oh, I actually have one more present. This is the Father Christmas of presents. It's the big whammy. It's a little terrarium. I recently started getting into taking care of succulents. I'm gonna put this back before I drop it. And in there, it has like a lot of cacti, a lot of succulents, and there's like rocks and stuff, and it's cute. So, of course I would love it. But yeah, that's what I got for Christmas. Um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know what you think about it. I don't really try to do hauls or like unboxings or anything like that, because I just, it doesn't feel entertaining, but I try to make it. So if you want more of these, let me know up here. If I forget, put in the comments. You all, know, you guys know I always forget to put the fucking card thing, like the voter thing in the... I'm a bad YouTuber. But if you enjoyed, give us your like, leave a comment down below, and better yet, subscribe because I post videos at days, not Saturdays apparently, because you someone roasted me in the comments for that. But I love you guys and everything is less than three. And I hope everyone has a great new year. Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Christmas, Jewish, I don't, ha happy holidays.